Welcome back, my fellow celebrated puppet master defeaters. It's me, one Dr. Genius, and it, it seems like Prodigy is literally giving an advertisement of killing the puppet master. That is. Oh. Hold on, we can duel. Why is there a level 32 person trying to duel me? What is this? This is like literally being asked to be one shotted on all of your pets. Okay, like, they have one pet at a higher level than mine, but still, they're practically being asked to be a one shotted. I'll enjoy this to all of your pets. Bro, oh, what was that? I nearly wiped, team wiped them. I nearly team wiped them. Bro, oh well, that would not be the least. Well, perhaps team wiping my opponents in a single attack isn't the best of the thing. <laughs> oh my god, what was that? I literally finished them all off without taking any damage. You can see that's how broken the new arena is, but we still somehow do get ourselves a fair decent amount of uh, stars from that. Anyways, where was I? You can see Prodigy's basically telling us, Hey, here's a trailer! You know the keystones which are there? Yeah, you can go and keep them. That seems to basically be Prodigy's trailer. It seems like they're just telling people who haven't played the game in a while and are just playing because of, I don't know, school? That? They're telling them that's fun fact, ladies and gentlemen. It seems that Prodigy has allowed you to battle the Puppet Master. And while it's all cool and all, I really don't know what we can do about the Wardens because previously they were all visible inside of the towers. Now, not only are they gone, but the towers are locked, so I don't know what they're trying to get, like, what's the next step in the... But, like, what's the next step? Like, they're telling us they can see glimpses of the Wardens and stuff, but there's nothing in there. Like, they took 10 years to make one update and then decided not to go completely through with it. It's like, bro, why? You went so far, but did not do anything. Why does one do this? You know, you guys get what I'm saying? Like, they made an update and then proceeded not to do anything about it. Like, I was at least expecting a few more chapters afterwards, but nope. You went. One chapter is all you get, and that's it. And it seems like if you were thinking you could get yourself the other mythical epics, you'd have mistaken as... You will have to go around and battle them or wait a month for them to come on board. Because it seems like it can take Prodigy quite a while to reach them, as you can see. Prodigy is currently on the mythical epic, which is... Shiver and Scorch, I believe. So that means you'll have to wait for Aqua Isles rerun, uh... Blast Stars rerun, Blue Fury Mag Mayhem's rerun, this, uh, Gyroform's rerun, Hydroid, Luminite, Luna, Nebula, Oh, Riptide, honestly, the Riptide kind of just looks like a Diodial, but uh, come on, let's not be rude. And we also got ourselves Solar and Budget Blue. So, in order to get Barbarian, Buzzra, Glimmer Wing, and any other mythical epics, including Pirate Isle, which you might have missed, you will have to wait until next month. Yep. You will literally have to wait until next month for it to reset, and not only that, but it seems like Confetti. The reign of confetti just continues on in this Prodigy world. Confetti, I don't know where in the world they're getting this much confetti from, but okay, that's quite nice, honestly. Yes, quite a decorated visit, I know. And the endless confetti. Who is gonna clean up all the saga? Who's gonna clean up all the environmental damage you do, Carl? I mean, it's been raining confetti for the last 10 days! That's really, that, that's right, the entire city's gonna be confetti! We're just gonna start an entire economy on confetti! You know, like collect 10 confetti, get paid 1 gold or something! Honestly, that would be hilarious if Prodigy actually did that, like... Now, you can collect confetti from battles, and more you can collect, the more gold you can exchange it with. 1 confetti to less than 1 cent. Now on Prodigy, you know, that'd be insane. <laughs> Yep, so those are just some of the things going on in this Pachi world, and ignore that bus following us around. Let's see what's going on in the arena. Has anything occurred? The teleportation to Harmony Island is gone. This casing is empty. The old man has been disappeared. I don't know why, what that old man did, but he's gone. And, on top of that, it seems like really no major updates have come along. It was only that single update once. One single update, and now nothing else is there. Wait, what am I gonna do with these items? Oh, hold on. Legendary? 
Are you telling me this is legendary? It has a defense of 200 to a hold. Oh wait, did Potty just change all their defense stats again? Bro. Bro, you've got to be kidding me. And how did I not have the item Potty? I can... Oh no, wait, they added new items in. That's the only... Uh, seriously? Nah. The only way these pets are not in my inventory is if Prodigy added new items in. Because I can tell you, I had the sh entire shop maxed out, okay? Like, this entire shop. Everything there was bought out. But now it seems like Prodigy has also unleashed a new update upon to us. Which is that... Ah, defensing and healing item scaling have changed. Hold on, maybe the wands? No, it's still a power bonus and all of that, so I don't know what the shop is showing to us. Like, what is the shop showing, and what is Podgy telling us? Hmm, I wonder. Okay, okay, I think I understand now. It seems like, um... It seems like the shop is showing us, uh... What? How? How? I have nearly every single one of these dudes! What is this, Prodigy? Why? Alright, so it seems like the shops are actually showing us the power which the wand has and compared to the power which we have right now. I'm guessing the minus value decreases based on the power of the wand. Hello, it's not that good I'd say so myself, right? Yeah. Like you can click on the wands and see how much it did increase your wizard's power, which is... I guess meh. But yeah, you can also see more shops around just by using this singular function. Really? Really? They put the Dragonaut's helm here? For real? They can't even be more disrespectful towards an item! They put the Dragonaut's helm there! Of all things they could've thrown in! They put the Dragonaut's helm! Why? What did it do to your prodigy that they had to throw it there? For real, that's sad! Oh wait, okay, they've actually allowed us to get the catch of the Harper Fish. Okay, this is actually a ridiculously hard to collect item, hard to get item. And, oh my... God, look at the price. It's gonna be like really, really painful trying to collect that, okay? That's what I'm saying. But yeah, you can see their update. Not only did they change the shop, but they also made it that you could get old stuff back, like some the items which are basically impossible to collect in game or back, so you can get them, and I'd recommend you guys go for it. But yeah, that's gonna be all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll catch you all next time. My Dr. Genius out. Bye! Uh, who's gonna clean up all the environmental damage to the corals? I mean, it's been raining confetti for the last 10 days! And it's the endless confetti. Who is gonna clean up all the soil? Uh, who's gonna clean up all the environmental damage to the corals? I mean, it's been raining confetti for the last 10 days! That's really, that this right, the entire city's gonna be confetti! We're just gonna start an entire economy on confetti! You know, like collect 10 confetti, get paid 1 gold or something. Honestly, that would be hilarious if Prodigy actually did that. Like, now you can collect confetti from battles, and more you can collect, the more gold you can exchange it with. 1 confetti to less than 1 cents. Now on Prodigy, you know, that would be insane.